Hi everyone, this is Rohan and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to find out the slopes and deflections in rigid jointed structures using unit load method. Come, let's learn. Okay, the problem that we are going to be dealing with today is for the rigid jointed frame ABCD shown in figure, calculate the horizontal deflection at D and rotation at A. Use unit load method. You can see here ABCD is a rigid jointed frame. At point A, there is a hinge support. At point D, there is a roller support. AB is 5 meters, BC is 4 meters and CD is 3 meters in length. Now the loading is we have a 8 kN horizontal load point load acting at B and there is a uniformly distributed load UDL 15 kN acting throughout the span of BC. Now nothing is mentioned about the modulus of elasticity or moment of inertia that is E and I. So therefore let's take EI as constant. Now before solving the actual problem, let us understand the indeterminacies of this geometry. So as you can see here that this figure is actually statically determinate because the degree of static indeterminacy is 0. Moreover, the degree of kinematic indeterminacy is 6, neglecting actual deformation. So let us see what are the 6 degree of kinematic indeterminacy. Firstly, we can have a rotation at A. Then we may have a rotation at B. Then we may have a rotation at C. And lastly, we can have a rotation at D as far as the rotations are concerned. Now, moreover, we are going to have a horizontal deflection at C and we can also have a horizontal deflection at D. Out of all of these indeterminacies, we are asked to find out the horizontal deflection at D and the rotation at A. The reason why I am telling you this is because any of these other indeterminacies may also be asked in the exam. You can use this same method and the same steps to find out. So let's see step number one that is to find out the support reactions. Now, as you all know, since this is a hinge support, we are going to have one vertical reaction. Let me call it at vertical at A and we are going to have a horizontal reaction here. Let's call this as horizontal at A. Moreover, since D is a roller support, we are going to have a vertical at D here. Now, since this is a statically determinate structure, therefore, we can solve this by the equations of equilibrium alone. So let's start with summation of f of x is equals to 0 and let me take the right side as positive. So here what I will get is that minus ha since it is in the left direction and plus h plus 8 I'm sorry is equals to 0. There are no other horizontal loads or I can write here ha is equals to 8. Now see since 8 has come out to be positive so therefore our chosen direction is correct that is 8 will be in the left direction only. Next we can go for summation of moment about A summation of moment about A and let me take clockwise as positive. So here pay attention, of course the moment due to HA and VA will be 0. So let's start with this 8 kN. This 8 kN will have a clockwise moment. So it will be a positive moment of 8 multiplied by the perpendicular distance between the line of action of 8 and A that is 5. So 8 into 5. Then again the UDL of 15 kN is also going to have a clockwise moment. So therefore it is plus. Now, firstly, the load, the load is 15 into 4. And then the CG of this load acting from A will be at a distance half of 4. Half of 4, isn't it? And lastly, 
if you notice this vd load if you notice the vd load it is going to cause a anti clockwise moment so minus vd multiplied by the perpendicular distance between the line of action of vd and a is 4 so this entire thing will be is equals to 0 or if you solve this in the calculator you will get that vd is equals to 40 kilonewton is equals to 40 kilonewton now since again this answer is coming as positive so therefore our chosen direction of upwards is correct now lastly we can go for the last equation of equilibrium that is summation of all the forces in the y direction is equals to zero and let me consider upwards as positive upwards as positive so with this i will get vertical at a which is in the upward direction so positive minus since this udl is in the downward direction 15 into 4 plus vd but now we know the value of vd is 40 so i can directly write here as 40 plus 40 is equals to 0 so if you so simplify this you will get that va is equals to 20 kilonewton and since again this is coming as positive so our chosen direction is correct and our chosen direction was upward okay so in this slide you can see that i have drawn va in the downward direction and ha and uh, vd as it is what we had found now what does this step say its step says find bending moment due to unit load so for that below i have given the definitions of bending moment and sign convention just for your reference and just see that now you will have to find this in the same table this table already you are having with yourself so here itself in this table we are going to find the moment due to unit load so let's call that moment as mu moment due to unit load all right so now here you can see that since everything in this table is the same so already your origin as well as the limits are fixed so therefore wherever you had drawn the sections in the previous problem you have to redraw them at the same position so for member ab for member ab the origin was at a right so therefore here the section is at a distance x from a and here if you see the bending moment now will be plus 1 into x so let's just write this as x similarly similarly if you see here in the member bc the origin was at c so therefore i will have to cut a section here at a distance x from c and now at this position if you see it will be 0.5 multiplied by x so i'll have 0.5 multiplied by x and here plus 1 into 3 so i can directly write it as 3 so 0.5 into x plus 3 lastly lastly in the portion cd my origin was at d so therefore i'll have to cut a section at a distance x from d and here if you see the moment will be this 1 kilonewton multiplied by x so i can simply write it as again x okay so that brings us to step number five that is find horizontal deflection at d using the unit load method formula so let's write down the unit load method formula that is deflection is equals to integration ml mu dx divided by ei now from where shall i get the value of ml and mu you already have this table so directly from this table member wise we will find out the uh, uh, this we will member wise we will input the value so let me write it as delta d is equals to integration let me take let me take the term a b first so the limits is 0 to 5 the value of ml in this case is 8x 
and the value of mu is x. So dx divided by ei plus integration for the portion BC. The limits is 0 to 4. The value of ML is 40x minus 7.5x and the value of MU is 0.5x plus 3 dx whole divided by EI. plus the last member cd the limits is 0 to 3 the value of ml is 0 the entire term will be 0 anyway the value of mu is x dx divided by ei so if you simply take 1 by ei as common and just put this entire thing in your calculator you will find that the value is coming out to be 1000 right and since we had taken ei as common so divided by ei and you see that this will come as positive now this coming as positive means that our chosen direction of unit load was correct so delta d will be 1000 divided by ei and we can say that it will be in the right side direction as our chosen direction of unit load was right side all right so one of the unknowns we have found out so let's see what is the other thing now you see here we'll have to now find out the rotation at d sorry the rotation at a now to find the rotation at a remove giving loading and apply an unit moment at a and you will notice that I have again gone back to step 3. I have again gone back to step 3. Because, because now again step 3, 4 and 5 will be a repetition. Only thing is that since rotation at A is asked. So, we will have to take a unit moment at A. Unit moment at A. So, let me draw here a 1 kilonewton meter. 1 kilonewton meter. Now, here the question may arise in your mind that whether to take this 1 kilonewton meter as clockwise or anti-clockwise. The answer is it does not matter. You can consider it as clockwise as well as anti-clockwise. If at all your answer is coming as negative, then it means that the rotation it will be in the opposite direction of what you have selected. Now, I have already drawn this unit moment, but please see that here one important thing is that we have to remove the given loading. So, let me remove the given loading here. So, I have removed the loading here. Also, I have removed the loading here. Okay. So, now the next thing is that we have to find out the support reactions. Again, there will be three support reactions. One is the vertical at A. the horizontal at A and vertical at D. So, let's start with summation of F of Y, sorry, let's start with summation of F of X is equals to 0. And here if you see there are no loads. I mean, let's take left side as positive. And if you notice here, there are no loads, horizontal loads apart from HA. So, directly I can write here that HA is equals to 0. HA is equals to 0. Secondly, let's go for summation of moment about A is equals to 0. And let's take clockwise as positive. Obviously, VA and HA will not have any moment at A, but there, but if you notice at A itself, there is a 1 kilonewton meter moment now. So, that 1 kilonewton moment being clockwise should be considered as positive. And just see that VD will have a anti clockwise moment. So, it will be minus VD multiplied by 4. 
is equals to zero. Or if I simplify this, I will get that VD is equals to zero point two five. But since it is coming in positive, so therefore our chosen direction of VD is correct. That is, it is in the upward direction. So lastly, let us go for summation of f of y is equals to zero. and let us consider upwards as positive okay so what we are getting is that va plus vd but we already know the value of vd is 0.25 is equals to 0 or va is equals to minus 0.25 what does this minus means? It means that our chosen direction of VA is incorrect. So 0 0.25 kN, I will write in the bracket that it is in the downward direction and we can directly show it in the figure in the next slide. Okay, so just notice here that 0 0.25 kN has been taken in the downward direction and 0 0.25 has been taken in the upward direction at D. And since HA is equals to 0, I have not even drawn that here. Okay, so that's all right. Now, please see that we will have to again find out the bending moment due to the unit load. Okay, so in order to find the bending moment due to unit load, let us bring back this table, right? And in this table itself, we are going to write MU. Now, please see that I have written here due to unit load, but see here the term load indicates both load and moment so don't take it too seriously so here we can even write that this is due to unit moment okay due to unit moment as you can see here at a we have given a unit moment anyway coming back coming back here since again our sections and everything are fixed the origin and everything we will have to draw the sections at the same position so for member a b we will have to draw a section at a distance x from a and if you have to find out the bending moment there we will find that left of section clockwise is positive so simply we will have a one kilonewton moment here so under a b we are writing one kilonewton this one kilonewton meter at a that is acting here now if i consider the portion BC. If I consider portion BC, the origin is at C. It is already taken. So let us take a section at a distance x from C. So if you notice here, the only load will be the only moment will be 0 0.25 multiplied by x. Right of section anticlockwise is positive. So 0 0.25 into x. Now, lastly, let's go for the portion CD here I'll have to take the origin from D at a distance X already this was chosen and as you can see here there are no loads so no moments so here I will be directly writing this as zero I'll be writing this as zero okay okay so that brings us to our last step that is find rotation at A using the unit load method formula. So let's write down the unit load method formula. So even for theta, the formula remains the same. That is integration ML MU DX divided by EI. And from where shall I get the value of ML and MU? It is already there. We have found out mu this value is there and ml this value is there so let us find out member by member so let's write here as theta a is equals to integration so for member a b the limits will be 0 to 5 and here we will have ml as 8x and mu as 1 dx divided by ei plus integration 0 to 4 this is for member bc so the value of ml is 40x minus 0 0.75x square multiplied by the value of mu is 0 0.25x dx 
divided by EI plus now for the member CD integration 0 to 3 you see both the value of ML and MU are 0 so you can write this or you can not write this because ultimately it's going to be 0 anyway so if you take 1 by EI as common and put this in the calculator you will get that the value is 193.33 193.33 and since we had taken EIS common so I will have this in the denominator so again this has come out to be positive so I can finally write that theta a is equals to 193.33 divided by EI in the clockwise direction we can write that this is in the clockwise direction okay so in this problem we had found out uh, delta d that is horizontal deflection at d and we had also found out rotation at a that is theta a so similarly all the other kinematic indeterminacies could also be found out using the unit load method so i hope that this was useful for you if you have any doubts you can write it in the comments below thank you for your time mm -hmm.